We looked at rational functions. You have vertical asymptotes are what make the denominator denom equal zero. Whatever makes the denominator zero is a vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptotes, we had all those rules that you need to remember. So if the degree of the numerator, the top, is less than the degree of the denominator, it's y is equal to zero. For example, if I have x squared over x cubed, no, 3x cubed plus 1, the degree of the top is 2, the degree of the bottom is 3, therefore your ha is y is equal to zero. <clears throat> if the degrees are equal, what do we look at? Leading coefficients. So if the degrees are equal, so for example, if I have uh, y is equal to 4x squared plus 1 over 7x squared minus 10, those degrees are the same. So what's my horizontal asymptote? Four over seven, okay? And if the top has a higher degree than the bottom, there is no horizontal and we don't worry about it. That's a calculus issue. So y is equal to four x squared plus one, the bottom is x plus one, no ha. Not a rational function. Oh, hang on. No, it's not a polynomial function. Uh, when you put roots into it, that which are the fractions and stuff, you can get two different asymptotes. Because if you're square rooting something, you can get a positive root and a negative root. That's a calculus thing. We're not going to deal with that. So if you go in the positive direction, you can get one asymptote, a horizontal. And then when you go in the negative direction, you can get another one. So those graphs sometimes look like this. Classic is like this. So you can have an asymptote like that. Nope, that, these could be numbers. These could be you know, horizontal two here, and this could be negative two, and that's going that way. So we don't deal with that, though. Um, all right, and then points of discontinuity, those are the factors that cancel. Okay, so they have a factor in common. I'm going to say. The factors cancel. So, for example, x plus 1, x plus 2 over x plus 1. The x plus 1s obviously cancel. And you're left with x plus 2. So the POD is x is equal to negative 1. All right? That was yesterday's class. Any questions about that? We all feel fairly comfortable with that? Perfect. Now we're going to put all of that into one question. So it's the same stuff we did yesterday. We're just going to have vertical asymptotes in with PODs. So uh, where am I going to put this? We don't have a lot of room here. we got to find some room. Um, you know what? We'll do this one. We'll do this one. At the very end of the lesson, page... Whoa. Page 488, please. Page 488. Here's our one question, and then I'm going to give you one question, and then we're moving on to the last bit. All right. 488. Here we go. So, uh, what do we do? What's the first thing you do? Factor. Okay, we got to factor the bottom. What is the bottom? Well, you guys can figure out the bottom. Uh, it's whatever, negative five and positive three. Yeah. Can't say it enough. You need to know how to factor. It needs to be like that. Did I tell you if you ask the prof how to factor and you're in calculus, I'm going to throw something at you? Good. I'll reiterate that. I will throw it again. Hard. Okay. 
Wait, what about um, um, yeah. third degree Big process? Yeah. No, that's a little trickier. You got to be able to factor a quadratic. Okay. Um, so what cancels? <laughs> X minus fives go bye bye, and we're left with two X minus one over X plus three. Okay. So now we can start pulling out our information. We need the leave some space here for the graph, or on the other side doesn't matter. All right. So. VA, what's the vertical asymptote? Negative. Negative three. You look at the final one, right? Because what cancels is what? POD. So X is equal to negative three is the whole vertical. Might as well do the POD right now. What's the POD? X is equal to five. How do I find the Y value for the POD? Into whatever's left over, right? Yeah, the yeah. pink bit. So the y value is going to be 2 times 5 minus 1 over 10 minus 1 is 9. 5 plus 3 is 8. 9 over 8. Nice clean number. Not really. So our POD is 5 and 9 eighths. That's a nice number. You start, if, you write one in, if you write mixed fractions in calculus, there will be objects flying through the air. Yeah, that doesn't really bug me that much. Probably bug the prof, but just to do that and then run out of the room as the thing, the object is flying through the air at you. I will chase you down the hall. You'll just see me running down the hall like this. All right. <laughs> uh, horizontal asymptote. All right. What's the horizontal asymptote? Okay, so you have a choice. You can either you can multiply this out. What would the degree of the top be? X squared. X squared, right? It'd be two x squared. If you multiply this and this, you get two x squared. The degree of the bottom is x squared. So when they're the same, you're looking at the coefficients, which would be two over one. Or just look at what's left over. What's the degree of this one? One. What's the degree of this one? One. What are the leading coefficients? Two and one. Same thing. Both like <laughs> uh, y is equal to two. Okay. What else do we need? X intercepts. How do you find the x intercept? Set the whole thing equal to zero. Set the whole thing equal to zero. No, well, you could do the original, but the original has the POD hidden in it. So go to the end one, the pink one here. If I set it equal to zero, what's the only thing I have to actually look at? The, yeah, the numerator, right? So what makes 2x minus 1 zero? So you move the one over, divide off the two. There is your x intercept, 1 half. If you want to be technically correct, it'd be 1 half and 0, but. The y-intercept is when x is 0. You can do it to the final one. If I put x is equal to 0 under there, what do I get? 1 third? Negative 1 third. So that means 0 and negative 1 third. OK. We have enough information to sketch the graph. Are we ready? Are we excited? No. It hurts my feelings. In some way. I can live with my feelings hurt if you know how to factor, though. I don't know. All right. Vertical asymptote at negative 3. Let's do them in green. Horizontal asymptote at 2. You will have graph paper for your tests. You won't have to just guesstimate where everything is like I am. Uh, okay, so 
X intercepts and Y intercepts. X intercept is at one half and zero. That looks like one half. Y-intercept is negative a third. Sure, right there. And POD is five and nine eighths. I don't really know and care where nine eighths is, but five is going to be out here, say. Is nine eighths bigger than two or less than two? It's less than two, so I'm just going to mark it right there. Because it's one and one eighth. <laughs> okay. Can we draw the line in that area? Do we know where it goes? All right. We're going to go galaxy here. There we go. How do I find where the other half is? You test a point on? Yeah, you test a point that is to the left of your vertical asymptote. You've already established this area, so you have to pick a point over here. It doesn't matter what point. You can test negative 4, negative 5, negative 100 if you really wanted to. Uh, negative 1. Can't do negative 1. Oh, yes. That's the right. Uh, if you do that, you will find that the graph is up here. <laughs> no, I'll do it. Uh, so let's pick x is equal to negative 4. I'll just write it right here. Test x is equal to negative 4. You can just... What is going on here? There. You can just plug it into the simplified version. I mean, you can plug it into the other part if you want, but it's more complicated. So you might as well plug it into the simplified version. And you get 2 times negative 4 minus 1 over negative 4 plus 3. Negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 9 over negative 1 is 9. All I care about, though, is that 9 is bigger than my horizontal. So that means when you're at negative 4, which is, I don't know where negative 4 is. Say that's negative 4. It's clearly this graph is not the scale. Uh, then this point right here is 9. That's a good scale, isn't it? Nice and consistent on the scale there. All right. <laughs> that's negative a third, and that's 9. That makes sense. <laughs> um, but that's all you do. Okay? All right. Any questions about that? So now we've combined everything. We got vertical, horizontal, we got a POD, X and Y intercept. That's as complex as it's going to get for actually sketching the graph. All right? So I'm going to give you one right now just to practice. I don't know where you're going to do it. Actually, I do know where you're going to do it. If you. Not that bit, not that bit, that's dumb, that's dumb. You could probably do it in this area here on page 490, at the bottom of 490. We're not doing any of these things, so you don't have to worry about that. Here's what I want you to sketch, please. And I'll put the answer up in a sec. x cubed plus 3x plus 2, x squared minus 4. Sketch that, x, y intercepts, vertical, horizontal, PODs. Please. And then we're going to move on to the last bit of the lesson. Of the unit, I should say. <laughs>